the hemaclear can be used on most patients. However, there are several very important contraindications that everyone must observe. First of all, the hemaclear should not be used for more than 120 minutes, two hours. This is the upper limit. Um, we do not uh, allow putting the hemaclear directly on the ulnar nerve or the peroneal nerve uh, to avoid direct pressure on the nerves. Uh, patients with peripheral vascular disease, poor vascularization and blood flow, uh, we do not recommend using uh, the hemaclear. Those are uh, patients with uh, um, um, uh, diabetes, uh, smoking, bigger disease, etc. Um, patients with suspected DVT, okay, deep vein thrombosis, should not be uh, uh, allowed to use uh, uh, the hemaclear with the risk of releasing a thrombus, a large thrombus, and causing a massive pulmonary emboli. This is the same as with the uh, SMOC, and it should not be uh, allowed. Uh, if the limb is unstable, namely uh, fractured, the uh, hemaclear should be used with caution and uh, using axial traction to avoid buckling of the fracture. Um, patients with poor skin, skin that is very thin, uh, like uh, you see in some uh, patients with renal failure, or uh, uh, patients with uh, burns, uh, bulla, etc., uh, hemoclear should not be used. Most uh, people recommend not to use hemoclear or S-mark bandage for that matter uh, if a patient has um, um, uh, cancer, has uh, uh, some uh, um, uh, infection uh, in the distal limb with the idea of not spreading uh, cancer cells or bacteria uh, into the uh, rest of the body. And, and finally, if the hemaclear for some reason is not occluding the blood flow into the limb, the hemaclear should be removed immediately uh, to avoid pooling of blood uh, in the uh, vessels. These uh, contraindications are listed in the insert that you will find in each box uh, called the application manual and you will find it in many languages. Everyone should be familiar with those contraindications to avoid mishaps with using the hemaclears. Thank you.